The Conservative Political Action Conference in Dallas, Texas, returns today with all eyes on November's midterm elections. This year's theme, Awake, Not Woke. The midterms, 96 days away. For more on this, let's welcome in senior fellow with the American Conservative Union, Mercedes Schlapp. Mercedes, welcome back to Wake Up America. Good morning. It's great to be back. Welcome great. back. Yeah. Good to see you. Absolutely. So, Mercedes, before we dive into the conference, I do want to get into your husband tweeted about Congresswoman Jackie Walorski tweeting, a wonderful person reminds us all that our time is short. Talk to us about how you'll best remember her legacy. Well, I got to tell you, she was a, a, a fierce and yet a gentle and kind leader in Congress. And, you know, she was someone who I think could bring people together and understood what was at stake here in the United States in really trying to make sure that they would work on legislation that would help Americans uh, uh, basically succeed and prosper. So I, I got to tell you, we were so saddened to hear about Jackie's loss. Um, my daughter goes to school in Indiana, so we spend a lot of time there. And, uh, and it really is something, I think, that for the constituents there, for her family, we pray for them. We pray that God brings them comfort. And for the staff members, as I think Claudia mentioned, I mean, those staffers work night and day for their congressional members right. uh, and, and are constantly traveling. So it really, I think, is something that, you know, obviously for the Republican family, very sad to hear the news. And obviously our prayers go out to their families. Yeah, Tennessee Congressman Tim Burchett, uh, he said that she was focused on her district and the state of Indiana and not Instagram. And I, I think that just says yeah. so much about who she was. Uh, all right, Mercedes, so big day today. Uh, CPAC starts uh, with speakers this morning. Um, you've got a stacked lineup. This is the last CPAC before the midterm elections. And then we'll hear from uh, Donald Trump, uh, the keynote speaker, on Saturday. Uh, tell us about what we can expect before this, this huge uh, CPAC before the midterms. Well, I got to tell you, you're already starting to feel the energy in the room. It's uh, going to be thousands of conservatives coming together with these featured national conservative leaders that are really having an impact on what we know what's at stake right now in America, which is, of course, to win back the House of Representatives, win back the Senate, and make sure that we save America. And that is not only at the federal level, we're also looking at how important these local and state races are. So we're kicking off up with Governor Greg Abbott, obviously governor of the great state of Texas. Uh, he's uh, going to make sure, I'm sure, talking, going to be talking about the border crisis, talking about what we're experiencing from an economic standpoint. And in addition, talking about how Texas has been successful because they've been able to bring in so much business into this red state. And it really shows a divide in America where it is the red states versus the blue states mm -hmm. and how you have these strong governors in these red states that understand what needs to be done to make sure that our children receive a quality education, not an indoctrinated in ed education, right. yeah. and where Americans have economic opportunity and also be able to face the crippling economic crisis that we're seeing, inflation impacting so many American households. Yeah, pretty much everyone. Mercedes, I remember last year at this time we talked about the conference and, and how the energy was because Joe Biden hadn't been in office that long. And my, how things have changed just in a year. I can imagine the attendance, the energy, and what people are talking about. Uh, I know the topics are going to be inflation, border security, crime. Uh, what other topics do you expect will will be focused on uh, during this weekend's convention? I think we're also going to be talking about national security. As we know, China and Russia are a growing threat, as is Iran. Uh, they're, those three nations, they're looking at ways to try to find uh, a way to weaken uh, the United States. Um, it, so I think you're going to see a lot of conversation on what the China threat looks like. Obviously, we saw Speaker Pelosi going to Taiwan and, and uh, you know, honing in on what that impact could be in America as well. Uh, we're also going to be focusing very much on education. This is an issue, as you know, that I think has driven a lot of parents to get involved in the political process. We saw this with the great win in Virginia last year with Governor Glenn Youngkin and the mm. Republican slate. I think education is going to remain a, a top issue, as is the economy, uh, in terms of uh, parents that are saying, wait a second, 
We don't want this radicalized agenda. We don't want these radical, you know, teachers and teachers unions dictating to our children at five years old that they should change their gender. Yeah. That's not yeah. what yeah. we are. And parents should have the right to to make those decisions for their children, Absolutely. not the government. Yeah, I feel like, Mercedes, it could yeah. be, you know, the, the theme could be, you know, Joe Biden's America, pick your crisis. That's where we are after 18 months. <laughs> hey, I'll we miss you. Next time for the, to pick Please do. I'm good with the slogans. Yeah, we miss you on Wake Up America, by the way, Mercedes. Good to see you. Okay, I'll be back. Don't All worry. Right. Look forward Great. to it. Thank you. And a quick. Hey guys, it's Rob Carson. With inflation at its highest level in 40 years and interest rates skyrocketing, your retirement plans are in danger. Well, our friends at American Hartford Gold can help show you how to protect your savings and retirement accounts by diversifying your portfolio with physical gold and silver. Yeah. If you call them right now, they have a special offer. They will give you a free gold coin on your first qualifying order. So don't wait. Call now. Here's the number. 866-935-4309. That's 866-935-4309. Or text Newsmax to 65532. That's Newsmax to 65532. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.